This should be where Kokomi said to meet her. Hmm. Do you still remember this place? Yeah. Paimon remembers we came by here last time we visited Watatsumi Island. That was back when you did your stint as captain of Swordfish 2. Hmm. Paimon's curious whether the Resistance troops still remember you. I'm sure they do. Things on the island must have changed a lot since then. Oh, shall we take a look around? The enemy outnumbers you, seek their weakness and exploit it. If you outnumber the enemy, seek unequivocal domination and crush them. Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. General Gora, sir, do you, do you have a verdict? More or less. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that a Fatui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams. One to draw their attention, and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Then again, Madame Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Uh, since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we- Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave? Surely there must be another way. Uh, Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from... Uh... Hey, Goro! What are you guys up to? Captain, you've returned to Watatsumi Island. Yes, sir. Oh, that's great! <laughs> Her Excellency's directives are as reliable as ever. You've arrived just in time. Recently, the remnants of the Fatui forces have been unusually active. We've been monitoring their movements waiting in ambush here. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask you to keep yes, them occupied? Sir. Hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it! Mm. Good. There's not a moment to lose. We'll go behind enemy lines and sabotage their ship. Let's meet back here afterward. Watch yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Seems like the Resistance still remembers us. Come on, let's help them get this situation under control. I did not switch my team. Anyways. Oh. You'll get lost, boy. Oh. Oh. you here we'd have no way to prevent their escape without you what's that you're holding is it the directors from kokomi let paimon see oh wow this is a whole book is it all kokomi's directives yeah well no not all of them i have five more volumes with me huh? are you serious why her excellency always plans for every scenario Plus, these are her general operational directives, which are more comprehensive than most. Still, most. we're fortunate to have them. They make sure we're prepared for every eventuality, no matter how complex. Oh. Understanding every eventuality sounds tiring enough, let alone writing them all down. Must have taken Kokomi a heck of a long time. Captain, are you back on Watatsumi Island to lead Swordfish 2 again? We've all been feeling your absence. How's everyone doing? Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population return to normal life. About half of us are still organized into task forces, supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions like patrol, construction, and farming. Of course, not everyone's happy about it. The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. 
Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> the spirit of the resistance is alive and well, huh? Anyway, we're here because Kokomi invited us to the victory feast. Do you know where we could find her, Goro? I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, Her Excellency has gone to deal with it in person. We should probably get going ourselves. And, uh, <clears throat> also, on your way over, please check in on the soldiers. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. Huh. They used to tell me all their concerns, but whatever this is, they're keeping it hidden. I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. Sure, I'll see what I can do. Sounds good. Hyla was just thinking it'd be good to see everyone again. Ready when you are. <sighs> Back as usual. Wait, aren't you Captain of Swordfish too? Huh? Eh? Oh, it is you! Oh, you have our gratitude. Watatsumi Island wouldn't have come to peace without your efforts. I wasn't with Swordfish too. I cannot but hear I did see you with the Tarasuna. Oh, you really gave it to those shogun at Samurai in the fight of honor. Oh yeah, thanks. Oh, it's not like Don't worry about it. Is there anything you need from me? I'm at your service. I've heard people are on a bit of an edge these days. Uh, on edge, you say? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've noticed it too. In fairness. The battle isn't long over, and, well, perhaps it isn't quite over for them. You know what I mean? Every single person death in the face that day. It's not an experience you forget in a hurry. Victory's declared, and all of a sudden, the fighting's over. But people can't just snap back into normal life again. I think things will improve, but it's gonna take some time. I don't know what else it could be, but what I do know is that as long as Her Excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is safe. And all the more so now that you're back. Seriously, if there's ever anything you need, just say the word. What a nice guy. Let's go ask some other people. Ooh, he's at last. Living the dream. Hmm. Don't I know you? I definitely see you somewhere before. Can't place you, but I'm guessing you're not with the showman's army. So, you need something? Keep your work clean. Settle it. Unsettled? Unsettled how? I haven't noticed anything. Not that I would necessarily. I can I'm tell I cannot mostly. hear him for the life of me. Rowdy. We're God. at peace now, finally. And I, for one, intend to make the most of it. My life right now is about two things and two things only. Sun. Sea breeze. Ooh. Sorry that I can't be more help to you. I'll tell you someone you could ask that. Sam Konami. She knows everything. Huh. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Let's leave him to rest and go find someone else. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't understand what Her Excellency is thinking. I mean, peace talks. Give me a break. Why would she agree to that? Exactly. Everyone knows you can't trust the Tempio Commission. I heard they've been secretly coordinating with the two and plan to continue their attacks. Wait, for real? You're sure of this? Positive. Some of our guys had a run-in with a few Fatui. They caught them conspiring together firsthand. I knew it! The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. What would change? Honestly. Kind of naive for Her Excellency to take him with the word, isn't it? Shh, keep your voice down. Someone's coming. Yo, what's up, bit? Uh, Captain, we're back. Yeah, what's now? I have a report. Do you think we should tell the Captain about what we were discussing just now? No, let's not mention it. She's one of her closest advisors. For all we know, the peace talks could have been her idea. I'm sure the Captain would see more coming from, but you're right. We should probably play it safe. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Everything is a-okay. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over if you wish, Captain. Okay. Man, it was like I was hearing them talking behind my back, but because of the sound of the stupid waterfall, I literally cannot hear them. Or Paimon. 
What even is the point? Admit it! We know you've been secretly supplying the Tenryo Commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island. I something was off about a Tenryo Commission merchant doing business here. So, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? Oh my god. I'm innocent. Ha! You're as guilty as they come. You never should have been allowed to set foot on this island, let alone do business here. Take him away. Hello? Hello, on, are we? Wait! Kokomi, there you are! Something's going down over here! You should take a look, Mando! Your Excellency, this merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seized him for questioning. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases, but no sales. And yet, he has no stock in his possession. We believe it's highly probable that he has been supplying the Tenryo Commission behind the scenes. I... I haven't! I... That will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Everyone take a deep breath with me. In... and out. <laughs> Matsuda, that was loud, I'm so sorry. I understand that you're concerned for the safety of Watatsumi Island. But before we make any decisions over whether this merchant is guilty or not, we must give him the chance to explain himself. If he's guilty, of course, there will be consequences. But if he's innocent, he doesn't deserve to be falsely accused. This is Watatsumi Island. We deal in facts, not opinions. Excuse me, sir. As you know, my subordinates have some concerns surrounding your commercial activity here. Perhaps you could explain your side of the story to help you reach a verdict. Of course! I can explain everything. <laughs> um, I, I'm a trader on the island, so naturally I built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then, um... Uh, oh, oh, but then I was robbed by the Fatui. They took everything. Now, you think about that. First, I lose all my inventory. Then I get treated like a criminal. Hmm. And why should we believe you? So what? That doesn't prove they took his goods. And even if they did, it'll still end up in the Tenryo Commission's hands. They're in this together. What? The Tenryo Commission are colluding with the Fatui now? This is the first I've heard of it. Ah, I suppose it is true. What's that got to do with me? What, the Tenryo Commission start colluding with the Fatui after the fighting's already finished? Hmm, seems unlikely to Paimon. We met a representative of the Kujo clan recently. Doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. But on the way over here, we accidentally on purpose overheard some soldiers mention the exact same thing. Huh. Kokomi... Do you know anything about it? It has been brought to my attention, yes. We are scheduled to begin peace talks with the Tenryo Commission soon. The Kamisato clan has arranged for them to take place in a neutral location. Kujo, Sara, and I will be accompanied by our guards. We will use the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing rumors of collusion between the Kujo clan and the Fatui. Uh, allegedly, their goal is to completely wipe out Watatsumi Island. If that's the case, then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir, are you quite certain that your goods were stolen by the Fatui? Yes, it's the truth. I, I swear. They stole my goods and then they ran off that way. But that's where that hideout is. Very well. Um, the potential ramifications of this incident are serious. We will retrieve your goods, and if everything is in order, we will prove your innocence. However, if we find evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, I expect you to fully comply with our investigation. Do we have an understanding? Yes, of course. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Matsuda? Ichimura? Well received, Your Excellency. Good. Now, Traveler, I mean... Captain of Swordfish Platoon, Section 2. Would you join me in the investigation? Sure. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Patty, soldier. For the time being, at least, we are in peace time. Besides, I'm sure you won't be on Watatsumi Island forever. Whatever titles we may have, we're friends first and foremost. If we do find the merchant's goods in the hands of the Fatui, it'll prove he's innocent. Whatever's going on between 
between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission? We need to get to the bottom of it. This must be the Fatui camp that the merchant was talking about. From the looks of it, it used to be a Hilichro camp. Who knows why the Fatui occupied it? I got it, Paimon. It's fine. Not by brute force, that's for sure. Oh. But that's not a problem. The terrain here gives us an advantage, and we haven't given away our position so far. Our enemy is in the light while we are You're in the right. shadows. We haven't done anything. We have the upper hand. What does the grand strategist have in mind? Hmm. I think we have three options available. Option one: take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their leader first, the rest of them will be hard-pressed to put up a serious fight. Option two, hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example, a store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would deal them a devastating blow. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity would be severely impaired. Option three, use the environment against them. We're close to the sea here, so the air is very humid. I can gather the water vapor, you add a touch of lightning, and together we can shove them into submission. Wow, that's our grand <laughs> strategist. <laughs> that will depend on our assessment of our own abilities. A surprise attack from the air is the quickest solution. But requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle. But absolute stealth would be required during the operation, or we'd risk exposing ourselves. If we decide to take advantage of the environment, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. So, which is your preferred option? Spark things up a little. All right. We'll draw them out first to minimize damage to the camp itself. I haven't had much chance to fight alongside you in the past. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep up with your pace. Still, not to worry. Even if I can't claim to be a warrior myself, I'm no stranger to the battlefield. This fight should be well within my capabilities. Okay, let's clear out the camp and find out what they've been up to. <laughs> never belongs to a single person. Now that you mention it, Paimon did make a pretty big contribution, huh? I beg to differ. Hey! You must admit, I wasn't expecting to find the Fatui laying low in a Hilichro camp. Presumably, they've been operating out of here in secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Mm, let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. Alright, time to take a look around. So these are the Fatui food supplies? They look a little past their best. Is this really all they had to eat? Whoa, this place is chock full of bomb making materials. This is way too dangerous. We should tell Kokomi right away and figure out the best way to deal with it. Hey, look here. Could these 
these belong to the merchant? There's a lot of stuff. Some of it. for post-war recovery. And he was probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. By contrast, it's doubtful that the Tenryo Commission has any need of these items. So the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense. In all likelihood, he's just an opportunist merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint, though, right? How could he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let him go, are we? Well, it doesn't feel right. Don't worry. I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Hokumi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> the low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh, huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on. Let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it starts. Got it! First we mend the peace, then we attend 